We're going to be checking car fuses using a multimeter. I'm going to show you two different settings you can use to verify that a fuse is good, and we'll get started. So this is our multimeter. It's currently in the off position, and some of these multimeters will have this little uh, setting right here. So if we move it to there, if we take our two leads and we touch them together, you can hear it makes a little beep. So what this is telling us at this setting is if there's continuity, if there's a connection between two wires. So what happens inside these fuses is you can see that there's like a 15 amp, 20 amp, 10, whatever. Um, that's basically how much current is allowed to pass through this little filament of metal in the middle before it burns out. So if you passed 16 amps of current through this 15 amp fuse, it's gonna burn out. And so uh, if that ever happened at any point in time, what's gonna happen is we're not gonna have continuity because that thing's gonna burn out just like a little light bulb. So if you tap on the top of these guys, you don't have to pull them. You can just tap both these electrodes to uh, the two points. And you can see that we've just verified that there's continuity across this 15 amp fuse right here. So that's one way. So if you hear a beep, that means your fuse is good. There's continuity. Another check you can do is um, by checking the resistance within that fuse. So you see a 20K here. So we're going to flip that to this setting. So this is telling us now how many ohms of resistance is there in our, uh, between these two points in space. So if I connect these two wires, just like that, you can see that we have a very low resistance. So um, if my fuse is good, it should also have a very low resistance. So right now, like in air, air doesn't conduct electricity that well. So there's a very high resistance and you just read a one right now. Um, some of these might read zero L or OL. Um, and so if I take this same fuse and again, do this thing like chopsticks with one hand and I touch these two points together like that, on top of this guy right here, you can see that we're getting a very low resistance. So if we can see that again, I'm gonna to touch that guy and that guy, and you can see a very low resistance being read on our multimeter. So basically, again, this verifies that this 15 amp fuse is good. And very quickly, you can just go bang, bang, bang and check all these things very easily. So, you know, I highly recommend doing that. Um, and uh, for these other fuses that look bigger, like this 50 amp fuse or the 60 amp fuse, um, you know, some cars like this one have uh, the exposed copper on both sides of them. So even though there isn't like a point here where you can touch, you can also still just touch it together like that on the bare copper. And you can see again that this is telling us we've got basically a zero resistance uh, between these two points across the fuse, which means that our fuse is good. So uh, we can check these even if uh, we don't have those bare contacts. And alternatively, you can also go back to the uh, audible continuity tester and just verify for yourself again that uh, these things are good. So that's going to wrap things up, but I hope this is helpful stuff. Thanks for watching and be well.